I was gifted these two bedside tables in 2021 by a friend and neighbor. I let them sit in my downstairs storage room thinking I needed to do big and grand things in order for them to be enjoyed by someone else. They'd been in our storage room for a year until I finally decided, you know, they actually don't need major work. They have really good bones, but they're just in a little rough shape. So I just need to fix them up, put some paint on it, put some new poles, and call it a day. I thought that was a more valuable process to show than how to put in tons of time that nobody really has to make them super fancy. Because chances are somebody out there has something just like this that just needs a little bit of love. I started with removing the bat wing poles, filling in lots of nicks and holes, and doing a thorough sanding. I'm using Rocky Mountain by Country Chic, which is a deep charcoal gray. I applied my first coat with a paint sponge because I've hardly used these sponges and I decided to try a new technique. The paint went on so smooth. I got so many comments on the reel I posted on Instagram about how smooth the paint went on. Even though you guys know that I'm a huge fan of prep and priming, but this time I decided not to prime because I didn't think I was going to have any issues with the paint adhering. Plus, it was a really light wood, I put it in a dark color, so I decided I was just going to go ahead. My second and third coats were with the brush. I almost always do three coats because each coat is pretty thin. That's just how it works best for me. For the small little areas, I discovered that using the Country Chic Artist Brush was a really great tool instead of using larger brushes. These brushes are really high quality, a definite improvement over using my little kids' artist brushes, which is what I've done before. Definitely a great investment. Now for the top coat. You know I always like to add a little bit of paint into my clear coat. This is the Country Chic Clear Coat, which is a really durable top coat, which is good for something that's going to get a lot of use, like bedside tables. The first coat I applied with my Zebra Top Coat brushes, and everything was okay. But for the second coat, I decided to try a slightly damp paint sponge saturated with the top coat. And oh my goodness, what a difference that makes. It looks like I sprayed on this clear coat.
you won't believe what these little tables look like now. They turned out so luxe and expensive looking. I love the modern, sleek look. I hope I've inspired you to find some furniture around your house, marketplace, or even on the side of the road. sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram and I'll see you guys for another eco flip. Bye.